welcome to today's class. Uh, today's class, we'll be talking about how that set up, how do we set up how that on our local environment. Right now, I'm running um, my dev environment on a virtual box. As you can see, I still have my Windows computer running right here, but I also have um, a Linux uh, virtual machine running just so I can isolate all of my experimentation into one virtual computer. You don't have to do this, but if you have a virtual uh, box or maybe VMware, you can use this to spin up your own virtual environment. So it's basically like its own computer. It's, like, it's kind of like a computer in another computer, but this time it's in a sandboxed environment. So nothing truly gets in nothing truly gets out depending on how you set your resources so back to hadat so this is the adat website hadat flexible extensible fast ethereum development environment for professionals so that's what adat really is it's kind of it has its own uh, tools uh so we use there's truffle which also does the same thing as adat and then there's foundry which is more advanced than adat but it's it's adat gives you is the ease of use and some features uh that um truffle doesn't have for instance adat can spin up an automatic um node or a automatic internal blockchain on your computer but with truffle you basically have to download Ginach to do all of that so you can read through all of this um, and and learn more but this time what we want to do is to create an adat project set up adat so we can build most of our upcoming projects projects on top of it so you can open your VS code or open any of your terminal. I'm, I'm going to open this terminal and uh, and uh, on the left corner of my of my terminal here is where I am running a command called htop to to monitor the processes going on in this virtual computer. So I can know if I've clocked past my memory. I can know if I clock past my my yeah memory basically is the most important thing, and I can see what's what's running on the background, what time is taking the CPU space, you know, and monitor how I I use this environment so I don't overheat it. Yes, so on the top right corner is where we would focus on. So let's create a new a new folder called um token because we would create this project this other setup and then we'll have to create a token inside of it then deploy the token that's the plan um so let's create a new folder make directory called token if we ls we can see that token then let's cd into the token folder go into the folder yes so basically ADA comes in as an npm package npm which is a node package manager if you are familiar with node.js and react you should know about uh npm so we want to install or set up hadat using npm so i need to focus on the top right corner of the screen uh we'll say npm init dash y so the reason why we put the init that's why it's just so or should we do that let's just say npm so it's npm let's do npm init okay package name token yes version one description test test token project yeah uh, entry points index in js that's fine Test command no, git repo for now no, keywords no, auto. Let me just put my name. License, should we say MIT, ISC? Okay, let's leave that. Uh, so all looks like it's okay. Is this okay? Let's say yes, it is. 
so if we we have npm set up now if we ls now we can see that we now have a package.json file so if we cut into that package.json file just to see what's in it we'll notice that it is our setup or we just set up that's what it that's what's inside that package.json so anytime we install any form of npm package it goes straight into the package.json so what we can now do is to if you check this website they have a documentation of how to basically install install um hadat in an environment you can go and do more of that check in but um should i follow it or should i just do this okay so let's just go ahead as you can see there's this command here npm install that's that save dev hadat so let's do that uh npm i which is still the same as install um uh, save dev add hat okay let's get that running okay so um we have had that installed there we can check for proof you see we have the mode modules there now we have the package of json package of lock package lock json file in there so so if we cut into the package json file package json file we can see that we okay okay we can see that we have had that as a dev dependency installed on this environment so in, to initiate uh, a hadat, what we would do now is using the mpx command, mpx had, mpx hadat, I think, let's check. Yeah. So mpx had hat. It's going to bring up this very fancy looking terminal with uh, hadat in it. So what do you want to do? Do you want to create, first option is do you want to create a, a JavaScript project? Do you want to create a TypeScript project? Do you want to create an empty Hadat config, a JS file, or you want to quit? What we want to do is create a TypeScript project. So we click on that, so we select the directory we want it to be in. We need the git if no, we say why, yes. So that would um what that does basically is to ignore the modules the node modules uh uh folder because there's a lot there you don't want to push to github yes for this other dependency and we wait for it to install So you can do all of this in your VS Code terminal or whatever terminal you have. But I am using Terminator in this uh, Mint Linux Mint environment. I I just like using Terminator because it gives me the option of it gives me the option of splitting my terminal window into panes. You know, uh, there's a lot of flexibility with this. Um, I don't think you can't do this with your Windows, with your uh, VS Code terminal, you know. With VS Code terminal, you can put some of your your terminal side by side, but not in a manner like this. Like, for example, if I want to add another, like, a split to this particular pane down here on my low right corner, I can basically right-click that and click particle, you see. I can still customize the look of that. I like to use my Gandalf, you know. This is just a very sick, um, sick uh, UI or the way it looks, you know, and the customizable. I I, I, li I love that about uh, Terminator. So in case you're asking, I'm using Terminator Terminal. <laughs> so we have um, that 
completely set up. So LS, and now we see that we have um, we have a variety of files and folders and packages and stored. Now we have the add-ons config. We'll go through all of this one by one. If we check the, let's cut into the package of JSON to see what we have there. Yeah, so we have some extra packages added to it. Um, Nomical foundation that is added to it. Yes, so what we can do is to just open this folder on VS Code to see our folder structure. But so far, so good. We have uh, that configured, which is the which is the goal for today. Um, so let me just run you through what's happening here and the folders we have. We have a contract folder. So the contract folder is where we would have to place most of our contracts. You can see how that comes with an example, uh, an example contract file called lock the show. Um, the nodes module is where most of our packages will be installed. Yeah, it is a very extensive uh, folder. We don't want to go through all of that. The scripts is where, where we can run our deployment scripts. So once we've created the contract, uh, the script folder is where we can create a deployment script. So here now is the here now is the the um, an example deployment script for this lock the soul file. Um, tests we won't be doing much of testing yet, but um, the test shows where you can create your test uh, your test the unit test for for your your contracts you know so git ignore basically is a for is a file that has a list of files or folders that we want to be ignored when we push them to git off you know you can read up on that how that config is a place where we do our settings and how that settings in terms of deployment where do we want to deploy our contract to how do we want to deploy them what what um what constants or environmental variables are needed we put them all of those into the config file add a config the lock i don't want to go into this the package of json worked on that the readme file you know what the readme file is you can read up on that ts config, config json is where we do some other configuration of typescript so that's it for today we have successfully um set up had that for um our next project would, which would be creating a token all right guys if this lesson has helped you in any way to understand what ADAT is and how to set it up uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel this is a very young channel and we need more views, we need more subscriptions. When I see people viewing my posts, it encourages me to do more. So, um, see you in the next lesson.